How do I draw my sword? I, I did it a second ago. There we go. Hey. I, I'm really trying to think of things to say, but I don't have anything. <laughs> I don't know if Huntress has been introduced into the new 52 yet, but I'd imagine that's what she's going to look like. <sighs> okay. I don't know, I guess Dragoon looks cool. She's wearing the dumb sunglasses. She's wearing something that at least kind of resembles, like, you know, armor. It's kind of neat. It's a plus. I just like... I don't know. The thighs are kind of important, Lightning. Like, there's major arteries there. That could use some armor. <laughs> okay, so is her sword, like, all messed up? Is she pretty much hitting them with, like, a big metal stick now? Well, she has different weapons for different... Oh. Right, but you'll remember in her savior form, which is the one she was using in the cutscene earlier, her blade got all messed up. Oh, yeah. So yeah, in that form, is she just smacking people with a big metal stick? Just take off the sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, you're like, inside. Huh? You're inside. Well, <laughs> you're inside, and it just makes the whole thing look dumb. <laughs> Dumber. Hmm. So what are... I don't know. Well, unlike Final Fantasy XIII, it seems like you're not just running down one hallway forever. <laughs> well, I don't know, it's twisting and turning a lot. This could just be one hallway with turns. That's true. <laughs> At least you control the turning, so... <laughs> <laughs> it at least it's awesome, it's gives the illusion of uh, variety. Instead of the regular just block, uh, Dragoon has counter blow. Is that all you've got? See, that thing does not want to be hit. <laughs> that, that, that's not, yeah, that... It's like a, it looks like a floating bunny. It's not even trying right, I counter right blowed it. Well, it turned into a Georgia O'Keeffe painting for a second. No! No! Ugh, <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I don't know. I could probably sit here and rag on lightning for forever. I don't want to do that because that will just make people who are watching this game and enjoy it upset. That was where Snow is sitting. Come right? at us, bro. <laughs> Wait, I'm back here again. What? <laughs> oh Jesus! I'm Christ. okay. I'm. I think I'm lost now. Is there not a waypoint? I thought. What's that green thing? I, that's the uh the, the merchant. Are you sure? Pretty sure. It was last time I looked. Or oh. wait, no. no. Okay, I, I wrong one. Okay. Where's the front desk? <laughs> I have to validate. I don't remember where I parked either. Well, it's not this one. I don't want to get the charged another night because I couldn't <laughs> check out on time. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Lightning's like trying to sneak out to a convenience store to like buy candy to replace all the stuff she ate from the minibar. <laughs> <laughs> dollars for a Mars bar. Fuck that. <laughs> When was the last time you saw a Mars bar in stores? Oh. Are you sure you are prepared? For have you locked onto him? Could you attack him? No, you have to achieve your. Well, there's a dealer in the hotel, so this is obviously Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
Cuba. <laughs> okay, here, here, here's some. Here's a. Okay, this is a Whoa, one. people. What the fuck? People came back? Why? Can't talk to them. There's a giant ice thing! Can't talk to them, it seems. They're backing away from you. They're just like, oh, is that, yo. Okay, maybe that guy's just gonna do in a costume. I thought he was like a soldier or something. <laughs> it's a mistake that happens all the time. <laughs> oh. Let's check the map. Go up or up. Go after snow. Go after snow. In farmer. <laughs> I don't know any other of the words. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> you say I don't speak Spanish and all I can think of. I think it was in Anchorman. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't speak Spanish, Master. What's that? I'm sorry. I, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Though they want you to buy some oh, snow, man. So go to the dealer. <laughs> they need to find snow. Well, you said it looked like we were in, like, Sn Scarface's place earlier, so... Yeah, that's true. Alright. Pile O cocaine registered trademark. <laughs> I believe it's pile O coke. Pile O coke. <laughs> Which sounds like some like weird Irish name. You know, in the movie down. they used a uh, combination of sugar and talcum powder <laughs> for those piles of cocaine. And they messed up shooting that big scene where he's there's like mounds of it on his desk so many times yeah. that they had to stop because it was getting caked on his face and he could not. Really? Yeah, and they're like, "Al, you look like you've just got like mounds of glue on your face." That's awesome. Right, I think I got turned around somewhere. I think I got to go back way around this way. I just hope the enemies don't respawn much as I've been enjoying the rich combat system. <clears throat> oh no! Oh, they do. Can you avoid them? Can you I run? have to vent my rage on this one first. <laughs> I'll just get a go over here. So, how did she change clothes so fast? Uh, there's like lots of like Strategically placed telephone booth she just pops into and out of. I was just gonna say that. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna say there's like teleporters on her body that just teleport <laughs> clothes on and off her. Sounds great. Think of how convenient that would be. Yeah. Okay, I think I know where I got screwed up. If I could teleport clothes on and off my body at work, I would just go in like wearing work clothes and then like teleport. Like, I don't know, pajamas on? Yeah, exactly. Anytime the, anytime the boss came by, just teleport regular clothes back on. <laughs> I don't know, I work at a pretty lax place already. I've been wearing wrestling t-shirts to work for the last two weeks and nobody's noticed. <laughs> and or cared. Phone <sighs> home. There's not too much of a dress code, right? I wore a germ shirt. He doesn't mean the band, he wore a shirt actually made of germs. <laughs> yeah. And the code is so lax they didn't care. <laughs> In fact, they admired it. They admired his gusto. <laughs> we don't mind, just uh, stay away from the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what, what, what is that? Is that a dog? You bet your sweet ass it's a dog. <laughs> I work out of the. I work out of the out of my home, so I I don't even wear pants most of the time. This is the Chris Nolan version of the mythos, so that's a Moogle. <laughs> <laughs> it's just 
Look at uh, somebody's gonna come in off screen, pat his head. Good boy, Moogle. Yeah. That's how you find out. <laughs> what a nod to the fans. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anybody who didn't who didn't call Joseph Gordon Lovett being Robin? Like I don't know a single person who went into that movie not going. This dude's pretty much Robin, isn't he? Yeah. You're like, no, he's a cop that Batman talks to all the time. <laughs> I knew he'd take over as Batman, but I didn't think they have the audacity to name him Robin. <laughs> Which doesn't even really make sense. I mean, he's he's the he's the next Batman. Yet, he, so why name him Robin? It's he's not the future Robin. And uh, unless I don't also know. they're never going to explore it, so they're not going to be like, oh, he's Nightwing. And also, since I didn't put out like in the Nolan Batman universe, Bruce Wayne is only ever Batman for a couple of months combined his entire life. Yes. <laughs> so yes. So when you so arguably Joseph Gordon Levitt is more the legitimate Batman than Bruce Wayne was. <laughs> Yes. Like Bruce Wayne, like Bruce, the Bruce Wayne Batman in that universe, he's like, like that version of the Human Torch that was a robot and wasn't part of the Fantastic Four. <laughs> I was gonna say it's more like, um, is it Ultimate Spider-Man? How Peter Parker like dies? Spoilers for Ultimate Spider-Man. Oh, Miles Morales. Yeah. Like, yeah, Miles Morales takes over. Or like that guy, or like that original, the guy who was originally the Flash. Or, or no, better the, the, the very first Green Lantern back when it wasn't even like a science fiction thing, and the Green Lantern ring was just magical. Oh yeah, <laughs> like the Golden Age one. Yeah, I forgot his name. Who knows? Some somebody knows. Right. Flying air strike. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't attack in the air. Never mind. <laughs> this is like trying to like seem sort of action gaming, and it's so not. Could you jump over anything? Is there a point to the jump button? Oh, counter blow! Yeah, other than breaking up the monotony of running around. Yeah, seriously, no. Is is there anything you need to jump over? Uh, not, not really. Jump not that I've seen. I mean, like you, sometimes you need to jump onto stuff. I guess, like. I'll tell. But I mean, that could have just been done by just like having a button that says, you know, climb when you get close enough. I think I told you this story, but I will definitely tell JT. Um, there was a Blade game on the original Xbox. Was there? Yeah. It was really bad. Oh, wow. But uh, one of the things that they programmed in was the ability to jump. And the QA testers found that 99% of the bugs in the game were related to your ability to jump. <laughs> Like, they would, like, jump through a door and the game would hard crash. <laughs> or they would jump through a window and all the textures would invert. And then, and then like, they realized that, like, you don't actually use the jump in, in the game, yeah. in gameplay at all anyway. Yeah, one of the producers were sitting down and he looks at the other guy and he's like, Do we, other than the tutorial which teaches you how to jump, is there any point in the game in which you need to jump? Jeez. And the other producer thinks about it and he's like, No. Well, I've said before that in a lot of games nowadays, the jump button is kind of pointless. So wait, there was a game with Wesley Snipes where black men can't jump. <laughs> no, no, no. The jump button was still in the game. JT, 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 I did told, not take it out. JT, I told you, Nick is of a different generation. He's not going to... Oh, wait, is that it? No, I know... I know the... the ter uh, that's the end of the game. demo already? <laughs> Holy shit. The end. Lightning. I want to tell you about the Matrix. <laughs> Good lord, we did not even find out what was going on with Snow. Wait, she was wearing like an Elvis garment there. Yeah, now she's wearing like a lobster costume. Luxarion. The Luxarion Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. So do you get a party in this game? No. Oh. Okay. It's all lightning. It's exactly what everybody wanted. Uh, and by everybody, we mean Toriyama. Or, uh, by everybody, we mean nobody. <laughs> I don't like this, well, I can say, this demo has really not sold me at all. There's that Soul Calibur chick. Uh, can't you, I believe you can also get the, uh, Cloud costume. Oh, I heard about that, yeah. I want to say you could also have a Deus Ex costume. Really? Oh, well, yeah, that's a square property now. Right. Huh. 
Yeah. Wait, that, it gets card to me. Adam Jensen should be in the next uh, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, no, I've been saying this for forever. Star Wars can be in it, and so can Adam Jensen, Marvel, and so can Wei Oh Shai. yeah, and Marvel, that's right. Wei Shai. I want, oh, I, there it is. I want Sephiroth to fight Howard the Duck in the next one. <laughs> Sleeping dogs. Why do you let him lick you like that? Ugh. Well, destiny is in fact destiny, everyone. I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but lightning says so. Uh, okay, that blew. They missed uh, their calling with lightning strikes again. Come on. <laughs> Lightning strikes <laughs> twice! Exactly. Although that would be kind of confusing if it's the third game, I suppose. Yeah. Lightning strikes thrice. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if the game was called Lightning Strikes Thrice, I would have bought it. <laughs> Especially if she was striking the band thrice. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. <laughs> I would buy it for the pun alone. Oh... Well, that was terrible. Oh, 